Hey guys, this is Epic New Tech, and today I've got an unboxing of the Hercules 4MX DJ console. So let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to open the delivery box now. Just have some protective paper. wrapping out the way, and here it is. The Hercules 4MX. So, move the delivery box. So now, let's just check out the box. On the front, we've got a few of the specs. First of all, it's got built-in audio, so there's no need for a sound card. It's USB 2.0 compatible. It's got a metal body. A microphone in slot, headphone out slot, it's got two large touch sensitive jog wheels, it's got backlit keys, and it's compatible for two and four decks, and it comes with a transport bag. So let's open it. Pre-packed. And it comes with the USB 2.0 cable. Okay, so let's open the bag. Here it comes in a polystyrene case for protection. And here it is. Okay, let's see what else we've got in the bag. Just got install CDs and manuals. Getting started. And a big fat manual. And that's the bag empty. So, if we just check out the console itself, and we take off the wrapper. Here it is, the Hercules 4MX DJ console. So now let's just go over with the Hercules 4MX. First of all, you've got your two jog wheels, which are 12 centimeters in diameter, or 4.7 inches and 1.9 centimeters in height or 0.75 inches. Next you've got your play buttons, Q and stop. You've got your cross fader. You've got your A and C volume, D and B volume. And then next you've got your pitch with the pitch bend. You've got your microphone in with volume and on off switch. You've got your deck C button when you want to switch from deck A to deck C depending on if you're in two deck mode or in four deck mode. You've got your sync button, you've got your rewind and fast forward buttons, you've got your loop and effects buttons, then you've got your bass, medium, treble and gain, and the main volume. Uh, you've got here the Q select left deck, which you can load a song onto the left deck, or Q select right deck, where you load the song onto the right deck. You've also got up, down, left, right when you're searching through files and songs. You've also got scratch mode when you want to scratch or when you want to fast forward through a song. On the other side, you've got the headphone in. You've got your headphone, you've got your Q and mix knob, which determines whether what you hear through your headphones, whether it be what is on uh, playing through the speakers and what you're about to load up. On the front, we've got another microphone in and another headphone in as well. On the back we've got all our outputs. Firstly we've got our four RCA outputs. One, two, three, four. We've also got our four mono outputs. One, two, three, four. 
and we've got the ground lift switch which is for outputs 1 and 2. And on the other side we've got our USB in.